uh, will not, I think. Get to them a little bit later. Right, so this is the beer we've been waiting for. That's it, everything out of the box, nothing left in there, just some foam. Double checking. Right. That's it. Big box, but it does come very secure. So, yeah, undamaged. That's your secure package. Let's get this out of the way. Right. Here we go. Alright. So, let's get to all the parts first. Let's get this chassis out of the way. Let's see if the transmitter starts us. So it's it's a six channel transmitter. Yeah. So it looks like a radio link one, very like quite similar. Has these nice little switches on the top. Obviously to operate some of the functions on the car. And it uses four AA batteries. Right. So, quite nice. Feels quite nice in your hand. So, it also allows USB charging, I think I should imagine, and data transfer. So you got a switch here, you got an uh, I think LCD, LED, or LCD, but a little screen, so I don't know what it will light up yet, so I haven't put some batteries in there yet. I haven't seen any batteries that come with it, so you might have to get your own AA batteries. Alright, let's get the transmitter out of the way. So, it's quite a decent transmitter for a RTR kit. Alright, let's get that out of the way. You get also, Instruction on the THT6, that's what the transmitter is, and it also obviously is in Chinese. And I don't know if there's an English version of it, but I'm sure there will be an English version available for downloading. The instructions are all in Chinese, unfortunately, for now. Oh, yeah, there should be a Instructions for in English. Right, the bubble wrap. Let's get out of the way. Right. So these bits that we found here are your wheel nuts. Right. Nicely packaged. So all, all, all in there. plastic wheels, 12 mil hex, and they are not glued on, so you will have to glue them on yourself. So, or you can actually just buy your own 2.2 bead locks, because these are 2.2 wheels, and you can buy your own bead locks and just switch them straight over to some metal bead lock wheels of your choice. So that's probably the reason why they have not glued them on. So it allows you to change it yourself. But yeah, so but the compound feels it's quite a nice soft compound. They feel really grippy. But you can only tell that really out on the trail. So it's to be seen out on the trail. So let's get, they're all gonna be the same, so I won't unpack them just yet. I'll do that a bit later. And here you get the front bumper. So obviously the chassis doesn't come 
fully assembled. You have to just assemble a few little bits on it. So obviously you get the front bumper. Uh, then I can get a winch mount position on it. But I'll have to find out later on. There are some LED lights you can put in here. It's got the holders for it. So you can always put some LEDs in there. That would be very nice. I spoke about it's got some Lexan lens covers, so which is for the body, and also which is quite nice for a bit of scale detail. They have included a snorkel, so you can actually just use it or not use it, so it's your own choice. Right, everybody, let's get out of the bag. really nice. I quite like it. It's got a really nice aggressive look to it. And you obviously have a bit of attachments to do yourself. So you have to attach the roof screws on there yourself. So obviously they've got locators for it. So you don't have to actually find the position yourself. Make sure it's located, pop it in, job done. And screw them in obviously. And the bonnet has a seems like a hard plastic, hard molded plastic bonnet scoop or bonnet bulge, I don't know what you want to call it. It's got some hard plastic fenders, so it's not like so. These are actual hard plastic. It's got a hard plastic front grill that you probably have to unscrew. Yep, I can see it. You have to unscrew it from the inside. I'll show you the inside. So you unscrew it from the inside. And put your LEDs in, obviously, and your the lens cover and everything. And yeah, it looks really nice. Can't wait to actually take it out and fully complete it. And it obviously has an interior. So from the inside, you can see obviously it has an interior. But I haven't taken the film of it yet, so you can't see inside the glass of the windows, so it's a bit blurry. But it's got some nice window protectors at the back. Yeah. And the same at the back. So it's got like a, a plastic window guard, I should say. So some nice detailed wind mirrors. Obviously your and this as well and your plastic rear light, rear light lenses. I think they are in here as well, but I have to find out at uh, later like, if they are any. Here, there's your rear lens covers. 
So you can either leave them clear or paint them red or your choice. So they have thought about things to allow you to do your own things. So you obviously got your mirrors, your side mirrors, the chrome or mirrors, if you want to say that. And then you've got your side skirts, like a little side skirt protector. In this little package here. Uh, I guess this is some double sided tape, so you can tape on your side skirts or side protectors, not side skirts. Uh, I apologize, I do have a cold, so I'm a bit sniffly. Uh, you get some tools, so obviously, you get your uh, hex wrenches and your allen keys. So all the tools you need to actually assemble it so it's ready to run. Although you do have to get your four AA batteries, don't forget. So, more rubbish. This thing here, I don't actually know what it is, what it's for, but yeah. I'm sure we'll find out a later date when we actually assemble it. See what use we can make out of that. But in a minute, I don't know. Some, some Velcro strips. So that's obviously from like the previous model to Velcro your sides on to the side of the chassis. So it's a lot tougher to get off. That's what that's for. Alright, let's get into the instruction manual. So in the instructions, you obviously Equipment needed, so you obviously still need a 2S or 3S LiPo battery, 4 AA batteries, and a charger. So these are the three things you will still need to get, or I'm sure you might have at home already, uh, to get this vehicle up and running. So obviously it shows you the receiver connections, chassis top view, and pretty much everything in the exploded view. So that's how it's been put together. So they've actually thought about people that buy RTRs that like to have a month instruction with, a, with all the parts listed and as an exploded view. Because a lot of the RTRs I find that you get nowadays, they don't actually have a manual with an exploded view or show you all the parts. Like if you say you broke a part, you need to replace that. What's the part number that you want? A lot of them don't actually show you, you have to find out online, see what parts they are. But this one actually shows you everything that you need, what part it is, and how it's put together. So, which is quite good, quite cool. Okay, so obviously on here it also tells, shows you how you can put it together. See if they attach the body and how to do it and everything. Where it's attached to, you can remove the top of the body I can see on here. So you can either have it as a roll cage or you can have it with just the front window inside it, like that, with just the front, just have it as an open top, or you can have it with the top on. So it tells you all in the instructions how to build it or what parts you need. So all the parts are listed here and shown, so, which is really good. There's a really highly detailed instruction manual. It's quite good. All right, let's get out, out of the way. Let's get to the... Right, sorry about that. Battery died on the camera, so I had to change it. All right, let's get to the Piastro Assistance, which is the chassis. And it is a very nice chassis indeed. And it has a lot of different, but well, it's completely different from the previous traction hobby that we had in store. Uh, this one has obviously like a lot more electronics. The previous one, the gearbox was in the middle. Now it's been moved all the way to the front. So, and then you've got a center transfer box. Uh, that has a server attached to it, 
So let's pan the servers on this thing because it's got loads of servers. I can see I can see one, two, three, four, five servers on here. That's a lot of servers for a crawler because I'm just used to either one or two. But yeah, five servers is quite a bit. So you've got obviously your steering server at the front here, which is the bigger one. You've got your front actually this is your two speed uh transmission I should imagine. So uh, and then you've got your I don't know what this one is. It might be either a dig system or your front uh your center diff lock. So you can either lock your diff or you can lock the whole rear end so it's a dig system. I'm not too sure I've got to take it out and try it myself first. And then you obviously got your uh, front lock diff servo, and then you got your rear lock diff servo, which is here in the back. And all the wires feed into the receiver box, which is in here. In the actual instruction manual parts, you do see some plastic bungs you can use to uh, seal up your receiver box and to make it waterproof and your, uh, your PSC is in this box back here and your battery goes on here you can adjust the battery um, little tabs at the end here to make the battery fit properly so if you've got a slightly longer battery you might be able to extend it a bit more shorter one you can shorten it a little bit just to make it fit really nice and the battery also, the ESC uses a T plug, and I can see on here this is not just your average uh, little servo horn, so this actually works on a little cantilever system. So, it's a different system from your average servo horn. So, I haven't actually seen a system like this before. Be interesting to see what it is like out on the trail. See if these servos hold up as well. So, yeah. so, it's quite different. And obviously, as you know from the previous ones, they are held on with a magnet system. They are quite strong magnets. They're not on the body just yet. You have to do that yourself. So it's an ARTR. So there are a few little assembling parts to do, such as you've got for the front bumper on, obviously and obviously your wheels and if you do want to use these tyres and these rims you do have to glue them but you can always go and buy some proper 2.2 metal bead locks and stick them on yourself I mean not stick them on but attach them because obviously you can well once you re glue well, once you glue them they are going to be quite hard to well quite hard for you to get off on some bead locks. So normal 2.2s would be great on this. And obviously you've got to put your front bumper on. Uh, these you've got to attach to your car. The easiest way I find to do that is stick them on there first, then peel the tape off, then stick your body on there. Don't peel these off, stick it on the body and then try line it up because it will be a little bit off. These bits here is for the belt posts that I showed you earlier and they are literally holes on the side of the body. This system works really well, we've had it on a previous uh, traction hobby. It is really secure, surprisingly. You would think, oh, a bit of magnet, a bit of velcro, that would hold the body on, especially with a 1.8 scale. But surprisingly, it's really tough and they're great because with the magnets, you pop it on and your body's lined up. So there's no tweaking about lining up where it is. And there's no body post sticking out of the body. So it's another great feature. And yeah, so quite a lot of nice new bits and bobs. So obviously you've got to put your wheels on there. Uh, uh, you have to obviously put uh, some AA batteries in your controller and it comes with some nice metal links and a steering link and 
the drive shaft is actually plastic in the middle, but the actual CV, uh, the universal part of it is metal. So it should be alright, should be quite tough. And it is a free link system. So obviously you've got a free link at the front, so it's a chassis mounted servo, a CMS. So you've got your pan hub along here. I think that's the one. Am I putting in the right one? Yeah, that one at the bottom here. That's your pan hub. And then that's your steering link and that one there. So yeah. The rear is the usual four link system with the bent in it. So it's a high clearance so this should not get hung up on anything that easy. Obviously a little bit might get hung up but you can never avoid anything. And the shocks are full aluminium. Well I say full aluminium. The bottom virtual uh, cap part is plastic but the shock body is all aluminium. And the adjuster is aluminium as well. And it's a, a, a dual rate spring, so you've got two two rates of springs in here, so you've got a soft and a harder one, or the other way around, I can't remember. And yeah, obviously six channel transmitter, so you've got obviously a six channel receiver in here, I presume. So and the motor is a 550 30 seven turn motor so you should get some nice power out of that yeah. so I can't wait to actually try this out myself be quite impressed to see how well it does and yeah if you have oh, can't actually yeah can't wait to actually get this baby all assembled and out on a trail to see what she's capable of. Alright, so stay tuned for more updates and once I actually completely assembled it and give me a little try and then I'll get back to you, give you a little review on it. Oh, there goes some tires. I'll pick them up in a minute. But yeah, I'll give you another review on how I think it performs out on a trail and how well it does for some of the plus and negative points obviously of this vehicle but should be all good all right can't wait stay tuned for more updates all right bye